some of you may or may not know, I've been a benefit auctioneer for fundraising galas for nearly 10 years now. One event that uh, I have the pleasure of doing every year, and it feels like it's probably been about five years, is a terrific nonprofit. It is called Epic Experience coming up on February 24th at the Four Seasons. They are going to have their Hearts and Hope Gala. I am see it. I'm the benefit auctioneer for it. I absolutely love working with Nancy and Colin Farrow. Uh, Nancy is, is still part of the organization, but her son Colin took it over about a year ago as the executive director. And with that, Colin, good morning. How are you? Good, Eric. Thank you for having me. Well, it, it's a pleasure having you on the show. It's funny. I said to our producer, Alex, before the start of the show, I said, hey, Colin Farrow is going to be joining us from Epic. And, and uh, Alex said to me, oh, I remember him. He came on last year. Well, here you are again. For those that don't know what Epic Experience is, please explain to our listeners and viewers what it is and why it is so unique. Yeah, Epic Experience <clears throat> empowers adult cancer survivors and thrivers to live beyond cancer. And we do this through um, outdoor adventure programs. We do one-day programs, getting the cancer community, community together with um, survivors, thrivers, and their caregivers. We also, our pinnacle experience is our week-long adventure camps, um, where we bring people three hours west of Denver, and we play in the outdoors in the beautiful state that we have here. And so we will go cross-country skiing, snowshoeing, uh, summer camps. We're going to be doing rafting, inflatable kayaking, really to prove to these cancer survivors and thrivers that physically they may be stronger than they thought they were. And when they usually prove that to themselves and the beauty of nature, they also find healing in, okay, I can also connect with other survivors and emotionally and mentally, I open up as well and overall leave, hopefully in our mind, and we see it all the time, transformed to where they feel empowered in their cancer diagnosis. There are thousands of nonprofits all over the country, and usually there is an impetus behind starting a nonprofit. Why did you and your mom and your dad start Epic Experience? We felt cancer um, hit our family firsthand. Um, our brother was diagnosed when him and I were both going to Regis University with testicular cancer. And through his journey, we um, saw firsthand that, you know, during treatment, you're doing as the doctors say and all of that. But once treatment ends, my, or my brother was trying to figure out what does this look like, right? Living with cancer now. What am I supposed to do? Finding jobs. All my friends are moving forward and I'm feeling a little stuck and in the dark place. And so feeling that firsthand through my brother's diagnosis, you know, really when Nancy founded the organization in 2012, she just wanted to make cancer suck less than the next person. And so we've made a community out of epic experience to where people can hopefully find a home and a family in which they feel supported and they thrive through their cancer experience. So if people want to go to the gala, uh, and once again, it's at the Four Seasons on February 24th. How do people get tickets? How do they get involved? If you go to epicexperience.org backslash events, you can get tickets there. Um, we're excited. It looks like it will be another sellout um, this year. So excited for that. Um, and if you're interested in donating any items, um, we still are accepting some donations. Uh, we have a great silent auction and live auction. Um, of amazing experiences and stays and trips um, in which you can come and be a part of the event. I am really excited for this event for a number of reasons. One, I love seeing you and your parents, uh, good friends of ours, Gary and Barb Reese. Uh, they're, they're involved with um, a great nonprofit as well. You're going to be honoring them. But the company that I own is called Your Fundraising Team, and I recently hired a new auctioneer. And for Sports Talk listeners, you might recognize his name. Zach Bai, who hosts a show in Afternoon Drive, is now part of my team, your fundraising team, and he and I are going to be doing the event together. That's cool. We're going to be doing a dual fundraising. And, uh, you know, if you're fans of Zach, certainly show up. I don't know why anybody would be a fan of mine. And I think that, Colin, you would agree with both parts of that. Yes, uh, Eric. You know, that was quick. That, that was really uh, quick. Somehow it's worked out, but, uh, you know, I've been a fan of yours 
for a while. <clears throat> um, I'm a sports nut myself, um, so I do know Zach, and I'm just excited. I know both of your personalities have a lot to bring, and will really make the, the bring the room together. And um, it's going to be a great night in which uh, you two will uh, shine with your personalities. And really, what I love is making uh, you know the whole room feel as a team to empower cancer survivors and thrivers together. Uh, that one night on February 24th at our gala. And what I love about what Epic Experience has done and what Colin and Nancy have done is they, they've coined a new phrase. You are no longer a cancer survivor. You are a cancer thriver. I like that. And to me, that is one of your greatest impacts. Just the way you say it, that gives so many people so much hope. Hearts and Hope Gala for Epic Experience, February 24th at the Four Seasons Hotel, annual event. They've been doing it for over 10 years. Please join us on February 24th. Colin, thanks so much for your time. Thank you. Have a great day. You too.